Hi, this is P. R. Sundar. Welcome to the special series of Option Greeks. So we have already seen what is delta and what is gamma, and today we are going to see what is vega. The vega is called volatility index. First, let us type volatility index in Google. Let us see what Investopedia says. Uh, usually, they say CBOE volatility index. So, CBOE stands for Chicago Board of Exchange. The volatility index is a real-time index that represents the market's expectation for the relative strength of near-time price changes of S&P 500 index. Or we will see better here. The CBOE index or VIX is a real-time market index representing the market expectation of volatility over the coming 30 days. The investors use the VIX to measure the level of risk, fear or stress in the market making investment decisions. So first thing is that volatile. So what is volatile? So volatile means you know not moving in single direction. So it goes up, it comes down and goes up very fast, coming down very fast. So that is called volatile, not a stable one. So the volatility index indicates the expected percentage of price movement over a period of one month. And how it is calculated, I can tell you oh, that is a very, very complicated. So there is something called black skull formula. So if you type black skull formula, you can see. So this is the black skull formula. So this looks very, very, very complicated. Okay. So let us make very simple. During the next one month, if there is some expected positive news, so the general expectation is that the market will shoot up. So accordingly, the option prices will increase. Or during the next one month, let us say there is going to be some negative news. So market is expected to fall and then option premium will increase on the put side. Let us say if there is a binary event. Binary event means an event which can turn positive also, which can turn negative also. Say for example, there is a parliament election. The results are due. So one thing is that one party may get absolute majority, may form a stable government. So that is a positive news for market. Or there is a possibility no party getting majority and it becomes a hung parliament. And then you know, so there is no stable government and you know the coalition or you know all other kinds of problems so that is not good for market it's negative so which can turn either way so in that case half the people will think you know there is going to be a stable government so they will buy call options the call option premium will also increase and the remaining people will think there will be a hung parliament and the market will crash and they will be ready to pay any price for buying the put option. So put option will also increase. The call option will also increase and put option also will increase. So the volatility is in simple terms is expected movement over a period of next one month. So in fact, earlier I've done one video regarding India VIX. If you have not seen, you can watch it here. and based on the index value, volatility index value, how we can predict the monthly movement. In fact, that was my one of the first video after uh, becoming active in YouTube. So that was a very good video. Now, I'm just going to show you some data. So if you look at Nifty, I've taken the Nifty from 1st April 2020 to 30th April 2020. On 1st April, you can see that Nifty was trading around 8,200. And look at the call option. Index option Nifty 2020, 30th April, April expiry, call option, 8,200 call option. So on 1st April, when the Nifty was at 8,200, at the money call option was trading around 600 rupees. When the Nifty is around 8,000, call option trading around 600 rupees. So that works out to be at the money call option premium of 8%, right? And the same thing now, if you look at it, Nifty is at 15,800. And now if you look at the option prices, 
today it is uh, 12th of june and i am taking 29th of june i am not taking one month i am taking one and a half month for one and a half month at 15800 call option trading around just 336 rupees the nifty is around 15800 so this works out with just only 2 percent premium so in 2020, at the money premium was about 8% for one month option. Now, even for one and a half month, logically speaking, for one month is 8%. For one and a half month, it should be 10% or 12%. But it is trading only at 2%. Why? What is the reason? Last year, 2020, April was the peak period for coronavirus. So the fear was there in everybody's mind. And in fact, the coronavirus fear, the fear should be on the downside. But even upside also, the premium was very high. So when such an incident happens, both call option and put option will be trading at a huge premium. So at the money call was trading around 8%, at the money put was also trading around 8%. So total 16% premium for selling both call and put. But today you look at it, call option 336, put option is 270 and the both the premium put together it is not even four percent so what does it indicate so in 2020 during coronavirus period market is expected to make a big move it may be on the higher side or it may be on the lower side but now the market is not expected to make any big move why market is not expected to make any big move you can see very clearly it is reflected in india weeks which is at 14 and that time the India VIX was uh, very, very high. So maybe if you want me to show historical India VIX value at the date on April 1, 2020. And see, on April 1, the India VIX was 60 and now the India VIX is only 14. So now you can see roughly where the figures are coming. So when India VIX is around 15, now the premium is 2%, India VIX is 60, that's nearly 4 times, so that's why the premium was about 4 times, around 8%. Uh, this is just a rough calculation, so exact calculation if you want, you can go and watch this video. So, volatility index, you know, if there is an event, expected event in the near future, and then to factor in that risk, the premium increases either call side or put side or both sides so that is what what is called volatility index so what is the benefit of this volatility index when the volatility index is very very low and if the people buy the option and later if the volatility increases so the benefit will go to the option buyer but of course this price of option is not only decided by the volatility it is also being decided by the underlying price movement, delta, gamma and many other things. But assuming that all other parameters remain the same, if the VIX increases, option premium will increase, that will benefit the option buyer. And if the VIX is very high, and then after some time if the VIX cools down, assuming that all other remaining parameters same, the option premiums will go down. So that will benefit the option seller. So generally, Option sellers will be more active when the VIX is very high and option buyers will be more active when VIX is very low. Sometimes the same people do option buying when the VIX is low and they sell when the VIX is high. But again, one more caution. What is low? What is high? Who are we to decide? So now the VIX is 14. But how can we say this, this is low? Sometimes 14 can go to 13 or 12 or 11 or 10 also. Sometimes back, even the CBOE volatility index even fell below 10. And then let us say VIX is 30. Uh, how do you know th this is high? India VIX 30 can go to 35, 40, 45, 50 also. So this low or high, they are only a relative term. So that you must remember. So don't just close your eyes and go and buy the option tomorrow because the VIX is 14. So number one, VIX is low or high is only a relative term. And number two, option prices are not decided only by the VIX. So there are many other parameters also. I'm just giving a caution because I don't want tomorrow anybody to troll me. Sir, I bought option because you said. 
and I lost money. Anyway, financial decision you are supposed to be taking at your own risk. So here we just try to educate you on the different aspects. And many people call me, sir, I bought a call option, market goes up, still I am losing money. Why is it so? That's very simple because the volatility index goes down. So in fact, I made excellent profit for the last two months, April, May, and that is because the volatility index was high. Going forward, I may not be able to make that kind of profit. So that's because now the volatility index is low. So the volatility index, a good parameter that option sellers will always look for. But option buyers also should know about this. So that they should know when to buy and when not to buy. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.